Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are joining me for the very first time, my name is Zara. And for those of you who follow me regularly, I just want to apologize for not being very regular on my channel lately. But don't you worry because today I'm going to make it up to you guys. So today I'm going to be taking you all to this beautiful city called Victoria. It's located on Vancouver Island and it is the capital city of British Columbia. And British Columbia is the province in which I live here in Canada. Uh, Victoria also happens to be the city in which I was born and I really wanted Sorum to see it. And of course, I want all of you to see it because it is so scenic. And in order to get to Victoria, you have to go by ferry. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly get packed because this trip was kind of last minute. And yesterday we had a late night, so I was out late, wasn't able to do my packing, and that's why I'm up bright and early. I'm sure you can see outside the sun hasn't even come up yet. But I have a lot of packing to do, and I'm just gonna get everything together, and then I will touch base with you once I'm on the road. So you guys don't wanna miss this episode. Stay tuned for a lot of fun. Mwah. <laughs> I live in Surrey, BC, which is approximately 35 kilometers away from Swanson Ferry Terminal. There are three ways to get from Surrey, BC to Swanson Ferry Terminal. We got dropped off by my beautiful sister-in-law and it took approximately half an hour for us to get there. The drive to Swanson is so scenic, guys. You can also reach the ferry terminal via taxi or bus. Do note that there is no direct bus service from Surrey to Swanson Ferry Terminal. The journey, including transfers, can take up to two hours, so it's important that you plan your trip out accordingly. Foot passengers can easily purchase tickets at the ticket counters and self-serve payment stations available at the terminal. It's recommended that you arrive at least an hour before sailing. For traveling from Vancouver to Victoria, it will cost you $17.20 per person. For children aged 5 to 11 years old, it will cost $8.60 and children under five years of age can travel for free. The ferry for Victoria or Swartz Bay Terminal leaves every two hours. Foot passengers can check in their baggage prior to boarding the ferry. This service is free of charge. If you plan on taking your car along, an additional charge of $57.50 .50 will apply. Do note that masks are mandatory at all BC ferry terminals. Cafes and vending machines are operational at the ferry terminal. You are allowed to remove your mask while consuming food or drink, provided physical distancing is maintained. The ferry ride from Swanson Ferry Terminal to Swartz Bay Terminal is about 1 hour and 35 minutes long. The ferry that takes you to Victoria is called the Spirit of Vancouver Island. While on board this ferry, it is absolutely mandatory that you keep your mask on at all times, unless you are eating or drinking. You can choose from a wide variety of delicious menu items at the Coastal Cafe on the ferry. They offer yummy burgers, amazing sushi, fresh salads, and much, much more. And just like the rest of the ferry, seating in the cafeteria is strategically spaced out, keeping physical distancing norms in mind. When you're not eating or shopping on the ferry, I highly recommend that you just sit back and take in the stunning view of the sea and the coastline. After an hour and a half long ferry ride, we arrived at Swartz Bay Terminal. Since we had not brought our car along, we had to take a bus from the terminal to downtown Victoria. We decided to take bus number 70 right from outside the terminal. Bus 70 is an express route and gets you into the heart of Victoria in approximately 45 minutes. It's the cheapest way to get to Victoria from the terminal. A taxi ride could cost you about $75. Bus 70 dropped us right in front of the parliament buildings and our hotel was just a few minutes away from there. Real Scott Hotel and Suites. Perfect. Right here. So we're all checked in at the Royal Scott Hotel and Suites. 
and we got upgraded because um, Ole, the guy at the front desk, was such an amazing, friendly person. And he says, since we're here for four nights, he's gonna upgrade us. So oh. let's see what our suite looks like. That looks like a great property. On the right side, you'll find it. Oh my yeah. god, it's like Sandman like style. A proper suite. I wish I had known we would have brought our food, but we can still go and buy. Come on. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, wow. And this is the bedroom. This is the bedroom. A little sitting area here. Oh wow. And this is what the washroom is like. Wow. Not bad at all. The bed is a little small, but I think we can manage. Check out the balcony. Oh, wow, baby. Oh, wow. This is so nice. If all this wasn't all here, we'd see, we'd have a direct view of the Parliament. Parliament building, side view of it. This is a hotel and this is a hotel as well. But it's so nice and peaceful here. So what do you think about my booking? Amazing. Amazing, right? Okay, so we have checked in and we've kind of uh, felt out the room a bit. Due to COVID, um, the complimentary breakfast is not included in this package. We have a beer and wine store right across the street from where we are. I can see it. So we're gonna just go uh, pick up some refreshments so we can get our little vacation started. All right. Oh look, they've got the Bud Light lemonade too. So it's like lemon flavor. Mm -hmm. This is like our little heaven. <laughs> <laughs> So no, we just have kidding, just kidding. a lot of sh a lot of a lot, lot of wines. Here we have a lot of wine, and yeah, a lot of stuff. So we are going to get chips, some wine bottles, some beer for ourselves for the next four days. For the next four days, yeah. yeah. Oh, listen, they've got the Bud Light mixed with Pomado. Yeah, that's nice, right? Oh, wow. Six cans. You like horses. Hey, Jack. <laughs> God bless you, my friend. Oh, okay. Like okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm big on his face touch, but neither am okay. I. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's okay. I'm all around the world now. Wow. After we stocked up on our stash for the weekend, Saurabh and I set out to do what all tourists do when they're in Victoria. We took a horse-drawn carriage tour to get an actual feel of the city. Our guide Nicole gave us a super informative history lesson as she took us alongside the BC Legislative Buildings and through the historic James Bay neighborhood. We got to see some of the oldest, most magnificent heritage properties in Victoria. I definitely recommend this tour if you're a history buff like myself, or even if you're a horse lover like Saurabh. Yeah, so a lot of our seafood area, oh buddy, and then you continue down on the wharf, you also have the Flying Otter Grill, which is huge. Oh yes, for yeah. sure. I usually go when there and when I'm feeling extra fancy. Okay. <laughs> so the Flying Otter is definitely one that I recommend, especially for seafood. That's Jack. Hey Jack. That's awesome. Let's look at it. He's, look at his eyes, eh? Buddy, I love you. He reminds me of Bronzy. Yeah, I, I, that's what I, what, what I thought of. Yeah. I'm going to feed him some snacks and Nicole is getting up from uh, Yeah. And, of yeah, and this is Nicole, our awesome guide. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh wow, look at that. I love you. <laughs> he loves you now too because you yeah. <laughs> so we are walking around the inner harbor of Victoria, BC. Uh, sort of and I are trying to find a nice place where we can chill and eat, maybe have a couple of drinks. Victoria's Inner Harbour is one of the most beautiful harbours in the world. The Inner Harbour is Victoria's primary tourist neighbourhood. The harbour is home to various fishing boats and colourful floating homes. Under normal circumstances, it's a thriving waterfront promenade, 
filled with street food vendors, jugglers, artists, musicians, and much more. But since we're currently in the middle of a pandemic, the mood here was a bit more sober. We took in the mesmerizing sights of the surrounding attractions, such as the Empress Hotel and Parliament buildings, before we decided on a place to eat. So the same man who built our Parliament buildings here in Victoria, BC, Canada, built this hotel behind me, the Empress, and it is believed that he haunts both the Parliament buildings and the Empress Hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, right here. Holy. Wow. So we're at this awesome restaurant called Tug, okay, and it's right here on the harbor. We can see the water from here, even though it's uh, because of COVID they've got things blocked off. But nevertheless, it, it's beautiful, and uh, we've ordered two glasses here of beer. Cheers. And we're gonna have that now. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, no, this is amazing. Really? So they have beer on the tap. Amazing beer. This is a peach ale. So good. Dinner has been served. And you guys, this food smells amazing. It looks amazing. And I'm sure it tastes amazing too. Fries. I've been eating fries all day. Uh. <laughs> How's the smell? Because I can literally smell it this, here. I can smell as it, like it's, it's fish and chips that I'm having. It's freshly caught, like that fresh fish smell which can be overpowering but this is like just balanced and neutral i can smell more of your food than my own sort of so sort of stuff fries with parmesan cheese on them i think the cheesiest one actually no i won't i'll take this with the garlic sauce mm -hmm. so. <laughs> really you want to take my one? Oh my god. Amazing. Really? Amazing sort of. So guys, we're back in the hotel room now and completely exhausted after a very long day. And tomorrow we have a jam-packed day planned ahead of us again. So in the morning at 11.15, we have a tour of the Royal BC Museum. The Royal BC Museum is one of the biggest museums here and one of the oldest in Victoria, BC, Canada. They've got many exhibits there about the history of Victoria, the history of BC, amongst many other things. Okay, so I've been there a couple of times before, uh, even as a child. I used to go there for field trips because I was born here in Victoria. But this is the first time for Saurabh, so I'm quite excited about that. And of course, you all are going to be with me. And for now, I am going to doze off. So, good night. See you in the morning. Mwah.